This really good low level first ever step sequence combining three turn mohawk twizzle, cross rolls and a little bonus extra step. Right guys, today I'm gonna to teach you a step sequence. I'm gonna just show you real quick each part that's gonna go into this step. And there is a separate video for this, which I'll pop a link down in the description for each part. So the first bit we're gonna use is a serpentine three turn. Now, everything we're doing in this step, I'm gonna show you both ways because uh, if you're in competition, generally speaking, the judges would like to see you skate very well in both directions. So serpentine three turn is to take an outside three turn, um, we're going to add it with a backward crossover and then step forward the other way on the right foot with a backward crossover again. So I'm just going to show you two more. Three turn, step down, crossover. Three turn, step down, crossover. So always opening that side ready to step forward for the next turn. Check the turn, keep that side open, ready to step again. Uh, so that's the first little chunk of steps we're going to do. The second one is uh, what I call mohawk crosses. These are a bit like barrel rolls. So you know your mohawk from here. Uh, what we're going to do is keep the free leg in the air after the mohawk, cross over the top, and then step forward in the other direction. Remember we said we're going to do one each way. Mohawk cross over the top. Mohawk cross over the top. Mohawk cross over the top. Um, what this step is really good for is helping you as a beginner skater to open your shoulder to step forward. So each time I take my, I'm traveling backwards, then I turn my shoulder to forward, take the step, then do the other shoulder, take this back, take the step, take this back, take the step. So make sure you're thinking about this. Uh, otherwise, without the shoulders moving, it can be quite restricted. You have to have very, very open hips to make that work for you, so you'll lose a bit of flow. The third step we're going to put into this is a cross roll. Um, and we're just going to put two of these together. So cross roll, cross roll, toes turned in um, on some curves. So we're going to make sure they have edges. They're fairly self-explanatory. Um, the last step I want to put into this is a single inside twizzle. Um, so we're going to do one on the right, forward to forward, and one on the left, forward to forward. Remember, like we said, we want to show everything both ways. So this is a really good low level first ever step sequence, combining three turn mohawk twizzle, cross rolls, and a little bonus extra step that I love to put into a beginner skater's first ever step sequence is a sideways toe hop, uh, which looks like this. Um, and it's just a, it's a old school classic way of getting going really quickly from standstill. So let me walk you through that. It's two toes, left, right, and then step forward. So on that third step, I'm turning my left foot to go from sideways, toe, toe, to forward. And then I'm taking all that push and my momentum heading up the rink so I can cover eventually the full length of the ice pad here. Okay, so we're gonna start with that toe hop. Let me just build that up for you. Once you've done a walking toe step, you can very lightly jump between the toes to get that step. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put it all together. This will be the order. We're gonna do the toe hop into the cross rolls, into the three turns, into the mohawks, into the twizzles. Okay, so we're gonna start like this. Toe hop, two cross rolls, Two, three turns with the crossover. Keep the shoulder back with this crossover. Keep the shoulder back ready for the mohawk. Cross, shoulder back, mohawk, cross. Step forward into the twizzle and the twizzle. And let's finish with a bunny hop drag. Nice little finish, love a bunny hop jack. Okay, so the goal if you're in a bigger rink or if you're just not filling your rink is to find out where you can get some glide. So you don't necessarily have to skate faster to get a step sequence to fill the ice. Uh, you can just glide a little bit further. I'll give you an example. The mohawk crosses, I could do them like this and cover like two meters. Uh, or I could do them like this and really glide each step and cover 10 times as much room. So this time I run it through, I'm just gonna extend the glide on 
every step. So remember it's toe hop, cross rolls, three turns, mohawks, twizzles, and the bonus bunny hop drag on the end. Something like this. I'm going to start right back here, give myself a challenge. So toe hop, glide across, glide across, glide the turn, glide the cross, glide the turn, glide the cross, glide through the mohawk, glide through the mohawk. We're going to run out of room, twizzle, twizzle. Very upset I didn't have room for the bunny hop track. But this is a small rink. If you come from a full size rink or even just slightly bigger than this one, you might need to glide them out. And you will have room for your big bunny hop drag on the edge. is our beginner step sequence guys hope you enjoyed it give it a try let me know how you get on down in the comments and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>